God has given us a manual, a manual to understand, to gain knowledge and to stable our foundation. This manual is known as the Bible. The Bible is filled with interesting stories. You might be wondering, hmm, is there any instructions on how to have a successful relationship? Is it written in the manual? My beloved internet, yes, it is written in the manual known as verses. In Mark 10 verse 9, it says, Therefore, what God has joined, let no one separate. And well, I have discovered seven ways on how to have a successful relationship. Firstly, remind your partner that how much you love them. Remember to start from the little things because the little things makes a big impact from text messages that will bring a smile to their face, saying I love you to them, can soon become a slogan, a habit in your everyday life. Remember, you must understand this. Okay? Remind your partner that you love them very much, deeply, because that is the bond that will soon build up your relationship to bring both together. The eyes can tell a lot of stories. If you look at your partner's eyes, you can tell how much they love you. Second is communication. Communication is another key essential to having a long lasting relationship. Remember to talk with your partner frequently, your likes and dislikes, or your everyday stories. The more you talk, the more you will know your partner. The right partner will always care for you. They will handle your cheekiness and never get bored of you because they love everything about you and they are afraid to lose you. Number three, gratitude. Find a way or reason to appreciate your partner. Remember, little things make a big difference. Number four is honesty. Next essential key is honesty. Honesty is so important in your relationship to make it thrive. If you hide things from your partner, the truth will always come out. Your partner finds out, then things can get messy. Honesty helps big time to grow your relationship. You must talk it through with your partner, doesn't matter how ugly it gets. Number five is check on your relationship. Treat your relationship as if you are growing a beautiful rose in the garden. Keep watering it, give plenty of sunlight, tend it to the roots, and make sure the petals are full of color. If you abandon it, then your relationship will disappear. Treat your relationship as a rose. Number six is healthy fights. Healthy relationship comes across something called healthy fights. Handling it like a professional ensures the relationship to survive. Fights are common in a relationship. At the end of the day, you and your partner are one. That is the re healthy relationship. Always focus on the problem and try to find a solution. Forgive one another and forget what happened. When you have done all that, it is time. It is time to rebuild your relationship. And number seven is self-care. It is very important and you must understand that you are taking care of yourself and remind your partner to take care of themselves as well. It is good to find a happy connection outside your relationship to help you with your relationship to learn, to develop, and to understand how to have a long-lasting relationship.